It's the spooky time of year, and what better way to celebrate than talking about all the cool and icky adaptations that raptors have in order to survive. In this episode of Avian Adventures, be prepared to learn about the grossology of raptors as we answer the question, how do raptors poop? Believe it or not, we get this question a lot at the Raptor Center, especially when one of our birds lets go in front of our visitors. And it's not quite as gross as it sounds either. Different raptors have different techniques when it comes to relieving themselves. So, is pooping a sport? For example, hawks, falcons, and eagles all shoot their poop. Yes, you heard that correctly. They shoot their poop behind them. Target practice, anyone? This actually makes a lot of sense if you think about it. When baby raptors are in their nest, do they have a specific room like humans do to do their business? Nope. So instead of making a mess where they sit all day, raptor parents teach their young to lift up their tail feathers and shoot their poop up and over the edge of the nest. Eagles are able to shoot their poop up to six feet. Powerful pooping at its finest. Not all raptors use this unique technique, though. Ooh. Owls are not as concerned about a messy nest, so they poop directly behind or under themselves. And vultures? Well, they relieve themselves directly onto their legs. Poop isn't the only icky but important bodily function that raptors have. Vomit is essential to some raptors' survival. Vultures projectile vomit as a means of defense. Ew! Their last meal looks enticing enough to a predator or other scavenger for the vulture to make a quick getaway. Not only is the vomit a good distraction, but it also helps vultures lighten the load to make taking off easier. Owls are also known for coughing up part of their meal, but in pellet form. Most raptors can digest the meat and small bones of the animals they consume but not the fur, feathers, or scales. Everything that a raptor cannot digest comes up in the form of a pellet. Owls in particular are known for their intriguing pellets because they cough up the fur and the bones of the prey that they recently ate. This fact makes owl pellets fun for humans to dissect. Oftentimes you can put together a complete skeleton and figure out exactly what your owl ate. So what's the important lesson here today? Just because something is icky doesn't mean it's not totally awesome at the same time. To ensure a raptor's bodily functions are working as they should, humans can provide a healthy habitat for birds and their prey. Instead of putting harmful chemicals in the environment, like herbicides and rodenticides, there are more eco-friendly alternatives to keep unwanted plants and critters away. You can make your own effective weed killer with common household ingredients that won't harm wildlife. All you need is a gallon of white vinegar, a cup of salt, and a tablespoon of dish soap. Combine these ingredients in a spray bottle to kill unwelcome weeds without making wildlife sick. Sometimes it's pretty simple to make a difference in the health of our environment. Thank you for joining us for another Avian Adventures. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep tuning in each week to dive into all things Raptor.